The other day Ilya Averbik held a show in one of the most probably exotic places in Russia, Olenigorsk, Murmansk region. Acting stars, Medvedeva, Stepanova Bukin, Aliyev and many others came to the Arctic. Despite the events around, Averbik has a lot of plans ahead, he will direct the ceremony dedicated to the 200th anniversary of the Nizhny Novgorod Fair, as well as the opening of the fireworks festival in Moscow this summer. But Averbik is also becoming more active in figure skating, he puts on programs, trains his own group of junior dancers. After the show, the correspondent of SE asked his questions to the world champion and silver medalist of the Olympics. Ilya, your show was held in Olenigorsk. The place is quite unusual, how did it happen, that you are here? It all started two years ago as a master class, and then we already agreed to hold a show. Few people believed, the audience did not expect, that the constellation of champions would come, because one or two stars and those who sell them often come. A year ago I brought the train, and everything went well. This year, due to the fact, that the schedules were changing, Evgenia Medvedeva, Alexandra Stepanova were not in the poster Ivan Bukin, rotations took place until the last one. But it is all the more pleasant, that the audience comes expecting, that they will see a high-level show, where there will be top champions. Of course, the performances of Dmitry Aliyev, Alexei Yagodin, Oksana Demnina were an additional gift for them Roman Kostomarov, Tatyana Tatmanina Maxim Marinina, Demnina Maxim Shabalin, Albina Dinkova Maxim Stavisky. It is probably important, in principle, to make it clear to residents that people in the Russian North are not forgotten. Yes, it is a definite mission. The show takes it upon itself both in terms of popularization and in terms of the opportunity for athletes to talk about themselves, to declare themselves to a white audience. In particular, the peak of the Ice Age project, the first seasons, fell on the decline in the results of our skaters, because after the fantastic tour in 2006 with three gold medals, there was a decline in Vancouver until the 2014 Olympics. At that time, ice shows and TV projects took on the main role. Now the guys are limited in the ability to perform, the show feeds them. We are fulfilling our mission, not only in terms of performances and some commercial component, but also social. Evgeny Plashenko has spoken a lot about how he would like to hold a show in the Donbass. How do you feel about it, how right is it? Have you thought about this yourself? I remember how we have held shows in Donetsk more than once, there is a beautiful ice palace where we performed. I think that everything has its time. The time will come when everything will calm down, and then I don't see anything wrong with performing there. You put the program to Evgeny Semenenko. What can you say about working with him? I have a serious job with Peter this year. Many thanks to Alexei Nikolovich Mishin entrusted to work with Lisa Taktamashiva, Misha Kalyata, Genya Semenenko. There I also staged an arbitrary program for Andriy Mazalev, together with Elena Maslenikova. The St. Petersburg landing turns out like this. Laughs. I also put on the Georgian couple Anastasia Metalkina Daniel Parkman. This year is the whole list, but I think there will be more. In addition, we put a lot of programs inside our dance group. The guys are all ready. In my opinion, we have formed three very strong junior pairs, and we set ourselves the task of securing our positions at the first competitions to be held in Moscow. The group has gained weight, there is a lot of staged work in it. Working with Ms. Hin's group is always a gift. They are very tactful, creative, and easy to understand. Evgeny Semenenko continues the story of the other self, because for me, he became a discovery in a new demonstration program based on Korean motives. It was a kind of reincarnation. In the same direction, we continued to work on an arbitrary program. It seems to me that she will stand apart. There is quite a large number of quadruple jumps. If in the first half of the program all the number of fours that he has planned for himself will be performed, then in the second half he will anneal on the track. The music of a South Korean artist, interesting plastic, I can't say that it is close to me. Smiles. Modern dance. Zhenya contributed a lot to his choreography, his vision. I directed the program more, said what I liked and what I didn't. Is a large number of quads four? At the moment, yes. He also included a quad Ritberger. 
you are known as a choreographer in a show where you need to put programs every week. An analogy with sports is Daniel Glachengos, who also performs a large amount of work and puts programs on the assembly line. How do you rate his productions? I treat him with great respect, in some places even as my student, because I see that in some moments he relies on the productions of the Ice Age. If you remember, Danya used to work with me, in my team, and ended up with a Terry Georgievna after my prosthetics. And it works brilliantly. It can be called in different ways, but when you have a large number of productions, you get your own handwriting. I would call it that. There is a handwriting, there is an understanding of the program, there is a sense of music. For me, the most important thing in the production of the program is that there is movement in it, not for the sake of movement, but that each movement has its own meaning and is as musical as possible. Not only on a shock score, but it could also go under a change of pace. It seems to me that Donnie does it all very well. Yes, on the one hand, when you have a large number of programs, you willy-nilly start repeating yourself somewhere, but do not forget at this moment you are training. You are in constant creative training, I also have it in the Ice Age. Therefore, staged solutions are born faster. Inside yourself, you don't want to repeat yourself. I am sure that Danya strives to change the vector in productions, to change from himself. But there will always be critics, we have recently had a lot of figure skating experts. No matter what you do, they will always be against it, like Baba Yaga in the cartoon. I support Danya and I think he is a very strong choreographer, namely Ice. He could open up even more outside the framework of sports, since from the point of view of choreography, we are limited by the rules. First of all, it is necessary to make everything convenient for the execution of the elements. Eurovision was recently held. How much do such large projects inspire you and have you watched the last one? I haven't watched the last one, but I try to look from the point of view of production. Eurovision still sets the fashion, it is one of the headliners of popular culture. As the Olympic Games give a trend for the next four years in terms of presentation, so here. For example, the Olympics in China set a trend for minimalism, everything should be simple. So every Eurovision Song Contest opens up new facets. It seems to me that this year it was not interesting to watch, not even because of the absence of Russia, but because of the internal barrier. Like a boomerang, you don't want to see us, and we don't want to see you either. I remember more what a brilliant Eurovision Song Contest was held in Moscow, how many steps we took towards Europe, and how much Konstantin Lvovich invested in the contest, Ernst, general director of Channel 1. I still remember that discovery, how Dima Bailin ran along the track, our country has done a lot of things for the world with an open heart, including the Olympic Games, the World Cup. Can you name the best number at Eurovision in terms of staging? It will be interesting, if it's Bailin and Lyshenko. No. Laughs. I just have a dislike for plastic ice. I think one of our people is Polina Gagarina. The skirt, those projections are very cool. And what can be done for the world of figure skating to return? Convince everyone that we are needed, despite the influence of politics? Such a positive swallow is the recent performance of tennis associations, which deprived Wimbledon of rating points. It seems to me that lately this is the brightest call that athletes are out of this story and should compete. The only thing that will help in this situation is time. It will put everything in its place. I really want this to happen, as soon as possible, because our most talented generation of figure skaters should compete with everyone. What is happening devalues the victories of other guys. All your life you will live with the feeling that this victory is conditional. It humiliates the winner. Although they themselves are not to blame for this, because, perhaps, they really turned out to be the best of the best, but in the absence of ours they cannot be called such. There are sports where we are not in the top. It's sad, but the World Cup will not lose much without the Russian national team. In figure skating, we are the leaders, and all the victories without us become secondary. Has there been any new information about the new Ice Age? Not yet. 